all right guys future base tutorial incoming we're going to make the best future base you've ever heard quick easy let's go so about 93 percent of you are not subscribed to the channel that is crazy to me and we can do so much better so subscribe learn music production at an amazing rate and allow me to create content for you and to help you grow thank you all right guys here we are inside the studio now the first thing we're going to see is our initial serum preset um, once we've got this, we want our octave to be dropped once on oscillator 1, our semitones to be about plus 7, well not about, exactly, plus 7, our detune to be around here, and that's our first absolutely gorgeous and lush sounding fart noise. Once we've got our fart noise, we are going to go to oscillator B. No, we're not we're going to go to the default here and we're going to do gremlin sn press it on and bring our wavetable position to about 14 and on our oscillator b we're going to grab the digital ethos bring the octave actually just leave the octave and the semitones down to minus five turn it all the way up and bring the wavetable position to about here and that's what we have there the detune out oh, we also bring the unison to about seven and the detune down to around here sounds good to me and we've turned the level up slightly on this also now we're going to now add a sub the sub is going to be this kind of off-brand square shape that we're going to bring down one octave. Which is, yeah, giving us that kind of grit, that bass, that nice sub bass. And yeah, sounds good. Now, it would not be a serum tutorial without a filter on the MG low setting. I'm going to bring the filter on. Make sure we are filtering A, B and the sub. Bring this to about 110. Cut off at 110 there. Drive slightly up to about 15. And we're going to add our noise in. Our noise is going to be pretty much analog and then bright white here. But we're going to bring it down and you'll see why in a minute. So we're going to go to envelope 3 here. We're going to bring this down. We're going to bring our sustain to about, well, we'll do the release first. So we want the release to be about 729. About there is okay. Our decay to be one second long. Our sustain to be 12, roughly. And we're going to automate the cutoff with this. You guessed it. And not only are we going to automate the cutoff, we are going to also do it to the level. I'm going to bring the level of the white noise down to about here. And we obviously need to use the noise on the filter. Next, we're going to go to our envelope one, bring it down to about here, and have the release a bit out, the decay maybe probably like about here. Now there's a bit of kind of overlap which we're hearing which we don't want we want this to be voiced in a way that we have mono legato on porto about here and the always on and that solved that kind of overlapping problem there
Okay, sounds good. The next thing we're going to do is go to our LFO one here, bring it down, uh, bring this all the way down here. So it kind of it's very quick, and then we want our rate to be about one thirty two, and we want this LFO essentially to change this course here. So we want on envelope thirty two, and then we're going to drag this onto our CRS here, and we're going to shift alt click or option shift click so we've got it on this side and if you can't really hear what this is doing i'll solo the oscillator and if we bypass this and then put it on Give it a nice attack to the sound so it kind of it's a bit more impactful and you can hear it a bit better. Now the next thing we're going to do is go to the oscillator one and we're going to turn on the mirror. Once the mirror is on, we're going to go to LFO two, bring this in, turn the rate to about one half we want this on trigger mode and that should be fine then we're going to drag this LFO to the mirror bring it down a bit and if you bypass this adds a cool like robotic effect to it we're going to do the same to the oscillator B but we want the this to be on bend plus and we're going to do the same thing and we'll bring this down to about here and the warp to around here I've just turned the brightness up on this level as well here good there so yeah on to the effects okay so now we're going to go over the effects here just going to turn and drive a bit now the first thing we're going to add is some hyper dimension we're going to put the rate to about 44 percent the detune around 23 unison at four retrigger on mix about here and size down and mix up on the dimension and we get before and after Okay, next we're going to go on to the distortion here and we can bring the drive down to about 44%. Make sure it's on tube, we've got the post and we've got an LP which um, is basically pulled long right to the very end. So 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 9, 0, 0 0.1 and the mix is up at here and the drive is down. Okay, sounds good. Now, next thing we're going to do is some compressor. So we need the multiband on for the compressor here. Threshold and ratio stay the same. The attack comes down, the release comes up, and the gain goes to about 10 to 11 dB. And it adds a nice crispy attack there. And next thing we're going to do is add an EQ, which I've already got here. But the we only want you know a bit of a boost in the low frequencies. So without this... As we bring it up, probably good there. The frequency here is just kind of brought in around 80, 90, and we've got a pass there. So we can bring a reverb in, bring it down a bit, and make sure the size is right down. The pre delay is all the way down. We're on plate. Low cuts, we can leave, uh, we'll put a low cut up, put the high cut down. Damp doesn't matter, and width we can have about here. Sounds good. Um, if you want to why it sounds a bit different, it's just because the cutoff has been changed. So.
that's what we've got with the cut off up so if we bring this down here and then open it up so we have macros here i'm going to get rid of these quick lights just so i can show you and we just simply drag this over to the cut off let me bring it down about here put it down and then as we bring this up Sounds very cool and the we're gonna do the same but with the decay and sustain here so just click this decay sustain bring them down a bit don't want it too much okay and we can now automate these so we're gonna move them slightly we're going to go to tools last tweaked and then create automation clip for both of them so tweak this slightly tools last tweaked create automation clip now we've got it in which is wonderful and we can play our pattern bring this across and we can slightly just bring these up here like so so that they kind of lift as the drop rises or however you want to change them really That should be the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. These take me a while to make, and I would appreciate all help and feedback as well. So comment, let me know if you're going to use this in your track. If you're going to try it out, please let me know. But um, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will have a serum pack coming out with sounds just like these in the near future, so pay attention for that. And yeah, take care, guys. Much love, and I will see you in the next one. I do. Peace. <laughs>